were you doing on your phone? Explain to us what you're doing on your phone. I'm making my my uh, my speech supposedly, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't uh, run that way. I mean, I'm just making my my speech to uh, to mention the people who are need to mention and to give, you know, to to thank them. But it never did that way because um, this this is different uh, press conference. You've been in this situation so many times before, unlike your opponents. Uh, is there anything different? Are you feeling the nerves a little bit more this time around, perhaps for any reason? Oh, this is different. Um, people are very um, friendly, um, nice, um, very hospitable, and this is different because it's my first time here in Australia to fight. Yeah, yeah. We work hard for this fight. Uh, Freddy, know, uh, Freddy Roach knows that. Um, Manny, uh, Freddy Roach says that he predicts the fight's going to end early. What about yourself? What do you see it going? Well, I did my job. I did my uh, hard work in, in training, in, in the gym. And, and, my, and my team knows that. So we'll see on Sunday. Are you worried Jeff Horn might knock you out? I'm not worried about that because uh, I experienced that already. So <laughs> my God is bigger than us. They've been studying that Marquez punch. Do you think that could help them, or is that too far in the past? If um, he's basing on Marquez fight, uh, it's good for me. <laughs> what do you say to him in a face-off? Huh? Did you say anything to him in the face-off just then? No, no. What, what's it like coming up against a guy humble like yourself, doesn't get into trash talk? Well, um, we're uh, both professional. I mean, uh, we know how to respect each other, and that's I like that. Which is uh, that the way? And you, you give a good show to the people, entertain people, and that's the right thing to do. Do you have a lot of respect for Jeff? Of course, of course. I, I respect him a lot. Definitely, I'm so enjoyed with uh, with running with the um, Australian guy and uh, other uh, boxers. Uh, who run with me in the mor every morning. So, and the the weather is uh, nice, very nice. Not uh, too cold, not uh, too hot. No, no, I'm not thinking Philip politics. So we're um, open to the other side and then we're done. Okay. All fighting in the daytime, it's okay. That's better for me than fighting at night. Manny, you have said you know what he is feeling because this is his first world title shot. What were you feeling before your first world title shot? My feeling excited and uh, motivated uh, when I when I was in early twenties to challenge the champion. Uh, I'm so motivated. That's why uh, I don't want to underestimate him. I work hard with discipline. Uh, in this training camp, uh, we we did sparring more than 150 rounds, so it's good. I'm not thinking uh, negative. I always think positive. At any point in your training leading up to this fight, have you ever felt old? No, no. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, my trainer, Freddie and Justin, uh, my staff just they stopped me to 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 work hard. Uh, they're the one who stopping me in training because I want to uh, continue more rounds and make more extra rounds in training. Yes, I did notice Manny Pacquiao on his phone once again. He got called out for it at one stage with with my promoter Dean, and he was a bit like, oh. oh, oh. But I don't know what he's doing on it, whether he's writing notes, but he should have a notepad. But 
Um, you know, I tell the kids at school, get off your phones when I'm talking, so he should do the same, I guess. <laughs> Look, in, in our culture, I think if someone's on your phone and there's about 100 people here come to watch and he's shown that he's not listening and not really caring about what people are saying by being on your phone. If he had a piece of paper in front of him, he's writing notes, it'd be a different story. What about turning out 45 minutes later, an hour and a half late for press Yeah. He'd, he'd be definitely on detention, that's for sure. <laughs> if he came late, late to class, 45 minutes, class is pretty much over. He'd definitely be staying at lunchtime. What about the fight uh, on Sunday, maybe at 1.30? No, <laughs> 1.30, what about if he turns up at 3? Yeah, that, that will be very annoying. If he turns up to the fight late somehow and they don't start it. But I can't see that happening. I think he'll be a bit more uh, on schedule that day. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm just staying calm, staying relaxed because I don't want to burn that energy that I need. I've got to go to training after this as well, so I've got to stay as with it as I can to get through that. Um, there's not much left I have to do, but um, I'm just looking forward to the fight and I'm leaving the nerves as much as possible and keeping them down till the day where I need a little bit of nerves just to get myself ready. Yep. Yeah, so at the moment I'm in a taper off period where I'm train, training a lot less rounds than I'm used to. I'm used, used to doing about 30 rounds in the gym and staying there for a few hours. Now it's down to about an hour in the gym and about 12 rounds. So I'm doing about fight pace and um, just getting it done quickly. And then I've got to go through the weigh-in process where I'm going to get in my sauna suit, get down a little bit of fluid so I can make weight for Saturday morning and then recover for Sunday. Not only... And you would have noticed this if you're watching closely, and I've, I've attended four press conferences now with Manny Pacquiao. Not only is Manny Pacquiao an 11-time world champion, an eight-division world champion, he's also a world champion texter, because he never gets off his bloody phone. <laughs> but that's OK, Manny, because I hope you take the phone into the ring and she'll be game over on <laughs> early in the piece. This is... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, mate. As, um, as the guys have said, we've sold 46,000 tickets so far, and that's, that's just, we're in the rarefied air of never in the history of Australia, Australian boxing have we ever sold this many tickets before. We've got 9,000 tickets to go, and I think we're going to crack that 50,000 mark quite easily. And who knows? making this event possible. Could you please welcome 
the Minister for Education, the Minister for Tourism, major events and the Commonwealth Sports and Travel, the official travel agent, QMS Sport, the official print partner, Madison Sport, the official equipment provider, Ultra Tune, Victoria Mail. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the media. would ask both Jeff and Manny to head back towards the stage if they could. And we